What are we doing here? You guys want to know why you're here? Yeah! What makes someone good at balance? Practice, practice, practice. I'm about to do my official attempt. Three, <laughs> two, <laughs> one. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Guinness World Records has created a special set of challenges designed for kids. Where our squad of six will meet incredible sports men and women and hopefully set new Guinness World Records titles. Oh, yeah. For each official attempt, there's three of us stepping up to give it our best shot. We're one unit and we're all in this together. So today it's me, Alexa, Kush and Harry. I'm Alexa. I love sports and trying out different things. I am Kush. Football is my passion. I also love cycling and exploring. I am Harry. When I'm struggling with a challenge, I tell myself that nothing is impossible. If I broke a record, I would feel absolutely blown away. I'd just be like, whoa. Imagine if I could do that. My favorite world record attempts are balancing a football on your head whilst juggling a football. Now that was amazing. I once watched this really cool man. He was spinning a hula hoop on his nose. It was really fun watching him do it. I didn't want to break the record, but I'm a bit worried. I don't know for certain if I'm going to break a record, but I will definitely try my hardest. Training with top sports people is going to be amazing. What are we doing here? Is that the U2? Oh, yeah. Wow. I hope we don't have to climb it. It's really high. Are we training us today? I know. Hope you can break this world record. Yeah. yeah. That'll be so good. World record holders. Whoa! Whoa, you so, so, so landed that flip. Ryan Looney is a parkour genius. He has five Guinness World Records titles. That's loads. <laughs> He is cool. I was so excited. I love parkour. I'm not good at it, but I still love it. Can you spin webs or climb buildings? I do, but I like to use a ladder to get up. Do you eat runner beans or spring onions for breakfast? Toast. Neither. <laughs> What's the coolest thing you've ever done? Probably breaking a Guinness World Records title. Do you guys want to know why you're here? Yeah! Your official attempt at breaking the record will be over there. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> You'll be balancing your way across a five-meter beam. Wow. wow. So what do you think, guys? How are you feeling? That looks pretty high. It looked quite intimidating to me. I was very excited, but also nervous at the same time. Oh, and I forgot to mention, you'll be strapped into a harness and you'll also be timed. Oh, no. When I found out it was balance, I thought this was going to be very tough because uh, balance isn't my thing. The title that you're trying to claim today is the fastest ascent and descent of an elevated beam. Do you think we'll do it? Yeah, I have absolutely no doubt that you guys will be able to do it today. I was so excited to ace that record. Okay, guys, let's find something soft to practice our balance on. Follow me. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Wow! I was amazed. I just don't get how. I'd be terrified. It looks like he was a superhero. He was amazing. When we balance, we use our muscles to help our bodies stay upright and steady, just like Ryan. But did you know that our ears help us balance as well? Yes. When it's time to move, your inner ears send signals to your brain, which then sends signals to your body. Flamingos are so good at balance, they can do it standing on one leg while sleeping. That's amazing! Oh, sorry. And if we do fall over, balance helps us get back up again. That's amazing! So today, we're going to be learning about balance and focus. So to do that, firstly, we're going to need to learn about precision and adjusting your balance. How high is two meters? It's taller than all of us. It's about the height of the orange block there. Wow, that's high. Let's get going. Going into training, I was a little bit worried that I wasn't going to be able to do it. This is a precision. So what you'll be doing is jumping from one surface to the other or landing on the balls of your feet. Don't worry, you won't be doing it as big as that. What makes someone good at balance? Practice. Practice, practice, practice. I feel like I can do this. There we go. <laughs> I can definitely tell that it's quite high. So we'll be able to double this and just keep practicing. Oh my gosh, I actually did it. I landed on the edge of my toes. <laughs> 
There we go. Good. And see, you caught yourself. This is a piece of cake. What happens if I miss? If you miss, you just fall, slide straight down, okay. and you try again. At school, I'm known for the one who always falls over. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this because I'm not good at balance, so I thought I would hate it. This is your first time doing it. Yeah. You know, no one's going to be perfect the first time. So you're concentrating on landing on the balls of your feet, on your toes. And the reason is when you run across the beam, that's exactly what you're going to be using. Yeah. All right, so now we're just going to jump from block to block. And I'm feeling quite good about this. Oh, this shit. feels really good. I feel oh. like a monkey. Good. <laughs> Ooh. So we're going to practice focus and adjusting our balance. And to do that, we're going to practice balancing on one leg. Well, that's pretty easy. By itself, yes, it is. But I'm going to be adding a few little difficulties along the way to help you adjust your balance perfectly. You ready yeah. to start? Yeah. Yes. OK. <laughs> now, when you're practicing balancing on one foot, you want to make sure you pay attention to your body. If you're tilting too far this way, it's adjusting it, OK? I definitely find my right leg a lot easier to balance on. Could be because your right leg's the stronger one, so you need to practice balance on both of your legs. Now, I'm going to add a bit of difficulty to this. Okay. Okay. I'm going to add a bit of weights. First, Ryan made us stand on one leg, but then he put buckets in our hands. I thought, what is going on here? Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, gosh. How does it feel, guys? It feels all right, but a bit harder. Ryan added a stone into the bucket, and he kept adding stones. Oh, <laughs> that was definitely heavier. It's harsh. My arms started getting quite tired. I feel like a seesaw. <laughs> exactly, because the way a seesaw would fit perfectly is if two people that were way the same sat on either end. Do short people have better balance? Technically, yes, because shorter people have a lower center of gravity. But every object has a center of gravity. Whether you're tall or short, doesn't matter. So it's trying to find yours. I think I did find my center of gravity. I think my center of gravity is there. Maybe here. Might be in my heel thing. I'm not really sure. So when you're attempting your record, you're going to have to be really, really careful on your center of gravity. And that's exactly why we're practicing this today. OK, time to put all of our skills together. This beam here is about the same as the one that you'll be attempting your record on, but just a lot lower down. I thought the beam was going to be about that thick, but it was like more like this. Good. Well done. I definitely realize now how you should balance and how I even out my body. I did it. Well done. <laughs> Who's next? After training, I was really, really confident. Your balance. My brain and my body work together really, really well. This wasn't the real thing, but we could try out balancing on a real beam. Oh, it's lovely. Yeah, don't worry. Take your time. I think I've made lots of progress today. There you go. See, you've done it. And I think I'm ready for the challenge. You guys have done such an amazing job today, and the next time I see you is will be for your official attempt. But the training doesn't end here because I've got some homework for you. Our homework is balancing loo rolls on our heads whilst trying to walk five metres. If you want to practice your balance skills, this is something you can try at home. That is harder than it looks. Hopefully all this hard work is going to help us with our official attempt. The day of our attempt, I was still doubting my balance abilities, but I really wanted to give it a go. I knew that when it comes to the actual thing, it would be way harder, and I realised that I really have to focus. I was looking forward to putting everything Ryan had taught us into play. So that made me not as scared as I was before. Look, I'm about to do my official attempt. I'm Pravin Patel, an official Guinness World Records adjudicator. Meeting the adjudicator was a bit scary. He's quite an intimidated man. Today, you will be attempting the Guinness World Records title for the fastest ascend and descend of an elevated beam. Your attempt starts behind the white line. You go up the ladder, across the beam, down the ladder, and your whole body must cross the white line. That's when the timer stops. You cannot use any external assistance for the attempt, and the harness is purely for your safety. Do you have any questions? No, no. I understood. It's quite windy, so I'm not sure if that might knock my balance off. I thought I was going to get on that beam and fall straight off. How are you guys feeling? I'm feeling quite confident that we have to do any good time. I'm just going to try my best. I'm feeling very good that I can beat the record. Good. Well, it's a lot of stuff to remember, a lot of rules. Listen, you've practiced all of the skills. You've done your balancing, you've done your focus. So this is the time to take all those skills that we learned today and break a Guinness World Records title.
There's three of us. And three chances. Let's break the record. OK, so I just found out that I was going first. This is an official Guinness World Records attempt. Three, two, one, go. It would be easier to know what score I need to beat, but I'm still going to try and do the best that I possibly can. See the way she's just in her rear with her arms? Oh, yeah. Going first was tricky, but it made sure that I was going to set the pace for the team. I think the balancing was very good. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I felt nervous. Go! Go on, Harry! Woo! The thing that got me over those nerves is knowing that Ryan was there guiding me. Take your time. Composure. So nothing too bad could happen. Cross the line. If oh, I was naked. On that one, uh, that would be disqualified because you crossed over the line, okay? Oh, yeah. Before you let go of the ladder. That was the worst thing that could have happened. So it was just a two go challenge. Go, are you ready? Go! Yes, woo! It's a fast start. It was a lot higher than it looks, but it's really exciting because you knew that you might get a Guinness World Record. I think that's it. Each wrong, each wrong. In the last run there, just missed the last rung oh, on the ladder. That was a good one. It was a good one. That's exactly why you can do it again, okay? Oh, I was really annoyed because I knew that was a really good time. And if I wasn't disqualified, I think that would have been a world record. With Harry and Kush racking up the disqualifications, our second attempts didn't go much better. You slipped a wee bit in the ladder, but you fixed it. The second go didn't go great, so it all hung on my third go. The beam was narrower than I thought it was going to be. Your feet are really, really close together. Maybe do a wee bit more of a space. It all hung in the balance for our final attempts. On my final go, I just decided I put everything that Ryan had said and just gone for it. Right, Alexa, this is your final attempt. Now, you've done really well so far, but what I want you to concentrate on is get as fast as you can on the ladder, the fast as you can off the ladder. Okay. I think that's where you're going to make the most difference. OK. Good luck. So I'm nearly ready to do the official attempt, but I'm going to try and keep my balance, just like Ryan said. Alexa, are you ready? Yes. Three, two, one, go. There we go. That's faster that time. Yeah. I think she's going for it. Good. Do it quick. Perfect. There we go. That was quick. That's quick, that's quick, that's quick. Amazing. Yeah, it was far quicker. I think the balancing was very good. Yeah, yeah. definitely. So I can see him again. What did she do? Stepped on the wrong way, but she did it. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> so I just did my final attempts. I think I did pretty well. I really pushed myself, I think, quite a lot. I wanted to show Ryan that I did listen to everything he said, and I wanted to show him how much I actually improved and that he was a great teacher. Harry, are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go! Go on, Harry! Come on, buddy! Woo! Come on, he's got it. Go on, Harry! Woo! Good man. He's rushing a wee bit. Does it take his time? He's rushing, but he Good did it man. well. Good man, yes, he did it all. Keep going, you're doing well. Woo! Yep. There we go. I've proved to myself that I can do a lot more than I thought. The last attempt was really fast, really, really good. Ah, uh, thanks. Both of them were really, really fast, so I gave my third go my best shot. Kush, are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go! Go on, Kush! Come on! Come on! You beat this... Got a buddy. Oh, that's, oh, that's really, really fast. fast. That's really, really fast. Really Remember each run? That third run was incredible. I just put all the things that I learned in training all together, but I also hope that one of us had got it because I know that we did it as a team. Today, they did absolutely phenomenal. They came in not knowing what they were going to do, not knowing what they had to do and what was expected of them, and they just broke all expectations. Today, you attempted the Guinness World Records title for the fastest ascend and descent of an elevated beat. You all beat that record. <laughs> That's brilliant. But one of you, with a time of 14.9 seconds, <laughs> set a new Guinness World Records title, and Kush, you are the record holder. Congratulations. Well done, buddy. When I broke the world record, oh, I was so excited and proud. I was just like, wow, that is amazing. Well done, Kush. You're officially amazing. Thank you. I'm so happy for Kush. This feels amazing. It's an amazing achievement. It's probably one of my best achievements in my life and will be for a long time. You too could become a record breaker. 
there are plenty of records for different talents. And there are also records especially designed for kids. Even just practicing is fun and you can learn so much. But you could end up proving you're the best in the world at something. Ask your grown-ups to find out more about how you can break the record.